So I got a, I got the phone mount, cheapo phone mount before, and the thing vibrated like crazy and didn't really hold the phone really well. You kind of had to keep tightening it. It's going down the road and the phone's jiggling like crazy. And it really didn't film very good. Held the phone, but just barely. It kept moving around all over the place. Got a recommendation to get one of these RAM mounts. It's made in the USA. A uh, friend of mine's got one, or a couple of friends of mine have them on their bikes, and they love the things. They just they don't lose their phone. They hold good. It's got little rubber mounts on there, like little ISO mounts. So I picked up this one. I'm going to slap it on here. It's just held on with a U clamp on the bars there. So you're just going to mount that. Well, you're going to mount it as soon as I get the damn nuts out of here. Make sure you're not pushing the cables out away from anything. Everything else. So you're not pulling the side one side down really tight, the other one's loose. You kind of get it where you want it positioned, and then if you have to move it, you can go ahead and move it. This side, you need to flip it around. Just loosen the knob there, flip it where you want it, and tighten it back down. All right, let's see what we got here. Just expand it out. That's it, it holds it. I think I might want it over here like this. I guess I lost my damn camera there for a minute. Anyway, that's your that's your ram mount. Uh, kind of springs open there to hold the phone. So you just kind of take it, swing two of them open, and then uh, set it down on there, and that's it. No, I, I see what happened. I hit the damn, got the phone in there upside down. I'm hitting the damn buttons on the thing. Little user error there. But, uh, that's, that's about it, really. Let's, uh, let me fire this thing up and let it warm up. We'll go for a ride here in a little bit. Especially the right one, it's bouncing all over the place. It's a little rubber strip in there or something to kind of give it a little pressure to keep it from moving. It really does take a long time to warm up. I think I'm going to turn the air fuel screws out a little bit. For right now, until it starts to get hot out, even when it's a warm day out, it still takes forever. I'm going to idle. This that's where fuel injection has it over this carburetor. It's okay, that gives the motor a good chance to warm up. You're not beating the piss out of it like everybody else does, and that's fuel injection. Get everything off the temperature so you're not popping head gaskets or uh, injecting oil flow to everything. Let everything expand naturally. Not really fast. Here in a little bit, should be good. We'll find out. If it films okay going down the road and my phone don't go skittering down the highway like a 
like a little frisbee across the pavement will be good. And I don't have to reach up and hold it all the time like I was with the other one because it kept shaking it loose. And I didn't want it to have, it's got the other one had a screw clamp on it, like a thumb screw. And I had to keep tightening the damn thing going down the road. Let me go run this video and see how it did. Phone, phone never moved. So that's good. I don't know if you can actually see anything through the windshield there, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's just now raining. Come down a little bit harder and a little bit harder. Anyway, it's, uh, that's it. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and all that jazz, and have a great weekend.